When we went to the Faroe Islands in 1985, we were really hoping we might be able to document a pilot whale hunt. At that time, it was the biggest whale hunt in the world, and nobody was talking about it. I could see the whales in the distance and um, all the boats that were herding them towards where I was standing. And it was a case of really not knowing what you were going to see. The first thing we wanted to do was to be able to stop the whales from being killed at all. We had one boat in the water because they prevented us from putting the other two in. They went round the headland, joined the, the other boats and then positioned themselves in front of the whales and blasted off the, the um, foghorns. Um, and that's when the um, hunters started getting really furious and started trying to ram the boat. There must have been about 40 whaling boats. Men were um, leaning out of the boats and, and um, putting the gaffs into the, into the whales. The other people in the team, including me, went round down to the um, edge of the bay and we stood there and a lot of people were gathering. Um, it was a very social event. More and more people started turning out when they heard about the hunt. I ended up standing next to a man who was holding the, the gaff or metal hook. A whale swam straight to where we were standing and he got his, calf and he, his gaff and he thumped it into the whale. And I can still hear that thump. But I had to put that out of my mind until, and watch what else was going on. I couldn't dwell on that dead whale. For the whales that were killed first, they suffered less, but the uh, rest of the whales then were swimming around in the bloods of their, their relatives. The hunt went on for a long time and it was very clear finally that there weren't any more whales alive and so the whalers gave up and the boats all started dissipating. There was a BBC reporter who'd come to join us on the trip. Um, he got the film processed and he did a piece for BBC TV and then that was sold all around the world, because in those days you sold footage. And by the time we came back, it was a big story internationally. It was huge. Nobody had ever seen that hunt before in the same way, and um, so it shocked the world essentially and put an enormous amount of pressure on the Faroese government to do something about this incredibly cruel hunt. We campaigned hard and we brought the numbers of whales that were being killed in the Faroe Islands down, but sadly the whaling in the Faroes continues.